2J though. I think it's rowdy sounding. I think it's happy to be here. It's got good air for it. Yeah. So the Camaro literally just left like a minute ago and Trevor pulled around the corner with his 2J swap I knew, Mustang. I knew it was time. Yeah, you heard it, you knew it was time. So we're gonna see what this thing will do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you guys don't know, Trevor has motion out of TV. He swapped this crazy 2J into an S550 Mustang, took it on Drift Week. It's been to Cletus and Cars, it's been to the Hoonigandale, all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, so. it's pretty much been all over the country and we're getting ready to head back down to Cletus and Cars in Florida with you to do a burnout. Gotta so get gonna, that truck done. So we're actually, we're competitors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, so when we did the Drift Week, we had it on pump fuel. Yeah, um, which so, worked out well, right? You're driving it, yeah, you're, you're just, with it. You're and, filling up everywhere. And uh, so when we got back and we're getting ready to go down to the Houston Cletus and Cars, I just went ahead and put, uh, E85 in it and then just kind of scaled the tables and did some stuff so kind of what I want to do tonight is kind of like see what this is all about the hub dining. yeah yeah I mean now and then Trevor is literally a four minute walk that way from here yeah. not even like two probably yeah, if, we had like a, uh, if we had a potato we, gun we could have a potato <laughs> gun yeah, that's how we can see it so this is super fun this will be a cool collab deal anything that Trevor built we're gonna make some videos about and see what we can do he went and just took a class this thing is on an ECU master ECU uh, and it's got like a pigtail, right? That just plugs into the stock. Yeah, it's a, it's 2J a harness and, and stuff. And then we have like the wide band kind of tailed into it. And then I have some uh, some other can can bus stuff to get some gauges inside cool. the car. Um, but yeah, I mostly want to just since it's on E85, just kind of play with some timing a little bit. See what it makes. See what it makes on yeah. the pub dyno. So Trevor just went to an ECU master's class, so uh, he kind of knows more about the system. All kind of just see what's going on with it because I've never seen one. And then I'll run the dyno and he can play. So we're gonna. Spend a few hours here and make get some 2J noises. Yeah, make some loud uh, pops and bangs, maybe. But oh, no, no, yeah. no big bangs. Just, just some noise. Oh, it, it makes big bangs. <laughs> yeah, time, yeah. So yeah. Makes, so. Uh, so yeah, guys, we'll uh, get started. Alrighty, so we got the dyno all set up, show you guys, just like the last car, and uh, it's set up pretty easy, with a little bit of help, it went real quick, because we just left it in place from the other car, so now Trevor is in here doing all sorts of tuning. I'm just, I'm going back in time. We're going back to kind of where it was when I initially splashed the E85 in it, just oh, to get okay. it to run, so I, and then... I kind of want to do what I did on the street to see, which I added like two degrees and like, yeah. you know, two or three degrees and the whole thing. A so. little bit of that stuff, see what it actually did. Yeah, we'll just play with it a little bit and see. Cool. On this car, uh, usually you try to make a pull in one to one, but oh. due to mile an hour and all that stuff, I think we're going to try to make some third gear pulls. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'll throw the torque rating off, but horsepower should be about right anyways. We're just going to make some pulls and see how it goes. takes a second to grab that and uh, it just they come in heavy and we're also in third gear so the torque reading is going to be off because we're in third and it thinks it's one to one and you said fifth is one to one in this yeah. so we might even try fourth yeah let's try fourth. let's try fourth and then we'll go from there Like, give it like a safe amount, but then give it kind of oh, yeah, what that, it like wants said, more so. Said, not go until it stops making power and then yeah. blow it out. Yeah, 
Yeah. So not like, oh, I'm only going to give it this. It's like if it wants more, maybe it wants more, you know? Yeah, and, but E is hard because you'll usually run out of timing before you'll find detonation. Yeah. So that's what Zach said. He's like, ethanol. Yeah, he, that, that's what they said. They said normally you'll run out of power before you run out of... Before you get detonation. Well, that's what they said. It's like, you know, they added like three degrees and it made like, what, two more horsepower? No, six degrees. Six, six degrees. degrees. Yeah. Made two more horsepower. So you're like, done. Take it out. Yeah. Like, just take it, take it yeah, out. Yeah, you're done at that point, yeah. so... So he'll play with it a little bit more, and then we'll see uh, what he wants to do. Yeah, we'll throw it in the like the higher boost setting. Same, and see, same see, tune up, just a little more boost at it. Yeah. Cool. It ended up making uh, 544 and 626 foot pounds. Trevor is doing some tuning in here, just playing with timing. Uh, since it's fallen off pretty heavy on the uh, after a certain amount, so it starts falling off. Then it wants to come back, so he's trying to add some timing out through here, and we'll uh, see if it helps it. He's also saying that it's looking like it's a little rich. So this is a. Uh, that ECU master, so it's a little different. This is the data log he has pulled up in the same screen. That's the timing table, and this is your VE, right? Yeah, this is the VE map right here. Yep. So, what's the AFR? Uh, so that's about 11.0. So that's fine. Yeah. It goes about 0.73. It goes a little bit fat at first, and then it leaks out just a little, like it gets where it needs. So, like on initial like tip in, when you first whack it, it kind of goes lean which that could just be the enrichment too that's all that it is you, you always try to you can go back and play with that but that's not going to tell you much yeah up top so you think what time do you think we should should add to it to see i mean i i'm kind of not really trying to chase any more power than that i mean it's making a, it's making plenty of power i mean 600 and some torque like so i mean if you want just like kind of where it's like 16 17 like kind of pick a number and i just carry it and we'll just see if it makes that same power for a little bit further in the rpm range yeah, carry it out and then uh, then you always know you can pull it back if you want if you're gonna like if the car's gonna live up there going drifting or you know burnouts yeah. or whatever. So, so we could just like set that at 17. Yeah. 17. And then we just know that it's it's not you have some different cells there, so it's kind of manipulating timing. Yeah. So now we know that as soon as it's in boost and RPM, it's gonna stay at about 17 degrees, and then we can uh, see what it does from there. making uh, improvements. Alright, so Trevor's uh, looking at a few other things. Uh, what's weird on this thing is the VE table shows like 194%, so it's showing it could actually lean it out a little bit up top, so it is rich actually up top a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with the auto-tune stuff, you can see, like this is what it's saying is 95%, whereas it's 103 over here on the right. Sure. And you could see that in the, like the, the data log, you could see the lambda target versus the actual it's it's saying that it could actually you know lean it out just a little bit but so you were looking at it, you're a little bit confused so actually the ve table is throttle position sensor based oh hmm. but the ignition table is map sensor based so I, I guess you use like the alpha end strategy on something where you don't have like a stable intake manifold pressure really? like on itbs or something yeah. with like a crazy camshaft or something hmm. so it kind of does a calculation but it's not good for boost yeah. Because the map sensor. Because it's only out. Yeah. Because yeah, you don't Limit. want you don't want the map sensor. Because it doesn't really know if the map sensor is. But this is using the Alpha N 
with uh, with the map multiplication and map based ignition. So it's kind of like a it's more I guess it's more of like a drivability, like a really good drivability yeah. tune. This thing is like freaking amazing. Yeah. Uh, like I said, so M Spec actually tuned this thing before on Pump Gas, yeah. so it was just me kind of playing with it. But and now it's on E, and that's where you want but to yeah, go. Yeah. So my super is it. my super is on speed Jesus. density, <laughs> and, uh, and so this one's on the Alpha N with map multi and map based ignition. So it it, it kind of changes a lot of stuff, but I guess it's a little bit better for on off throttle. And, sure. You know, a bunch for of what you're doing, that's kind of what, what it. Doing, yeah. So, so it's, it has more uh, resolution kind of in there. Yeah, and it's TPS too. Cause, so it's kind of like a demand too, because you're, you know, sure. it depends like like that. That was 100% throttle, so that's where that RPM at 100% throttle. That's what and it's getting. Yeah. And then it's also using. But then that's is it using a sub table then, depending on different boost levels then. The so year? the ignition table is based upon. Sure. The the map. But sensor. the VE doesn't change based on your boost settings. You know, I mean, it, it, it might. <laughs> you know what? I, so that that's some of what. Yeah. When I'm looking at it, usually why Trevor and I started talking about this is when I've seen VE tables and usually in boost is VE. At 100% efficiency of an engine's 100% VE, and then when it starts making more than that, 15 pounds of boost would be like 130% VE, 150% VE is from. But I don't do a lot of VE tuning, so that's where we were kind of talking about some of that. Yeah, so uh, I mean, I'm, it's definitely new to me too, because I'm used to just like speed density stuff. Where that's why we're here, playing, I mean, that's, learning. Yeah, playing with it. <laughs> see, what, see what it does. I'm even learning with just uh, settings on the software and everything too as we go. So this has been perfect. Yeah. And it's a different car, and it took us a little bit to figure out what it wanted as far as, like, load. And it sounds way different than what your normal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely gets rowdy. We are good there. It finally ended up making the 588 and 633. That last one made a little bit less. Um, so... I mean, that tells us where it's happy, where it wants to make power. And those tunes, he's probably not going to drift it or like do big burnouts or anything with that tune up in the car, but he knows where it's at. And then he can kind of detune it from there for longevity in the burnouts and drifting and all of that stuff. But pretty cool car, makes a lot of cool noises. And we're going to get this thing unloaded now. All right, guys. I think it's loud. All right, guys. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, my other camera died. It's late. And it's time to go home. So Trevor's going to uh, back the car out made some good power so if you guys want to see more of these uh videos this is why i got the dinos to do some fun things like this tune cars like i did last time and uh just have fun with it and learn so if you guys want to see some more videos like this with trevor stuff with my stuff with tuning and everything make sure you hit that subscribe button we'll see you in the next video